Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome to the next video in the Life with Zach channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about this new bike rack that I got for my car. Uh, what it is, it's an Amazon Basic bike rack for trailer hitch, the two inch hitch. Um, and what it is, is we are going on vacation soon. And we finally decided that it was time to be able to haul our bikes so that we could bike around the city we're going to. We could bike to the beach that we're visiting. And then when we're here, we can take the bikes over to the park and ride them. We can take them downtown and ride them because we live on this great big hill. And none of us want to ride up that when we get done. So I want to be able to carry the bikes in the car. Um, however, I did not want to get a roof hitch, a roof rack. Um, or one of those hitches that mounts directly to the back of the car because I didn't want to tear up the car. So um, I did some research and found out that a trailer hitch rack would be the best option for me. And uh, did uh, some digging and found this Amazon Basic one. Uh, this is the one that's designed to hold three bikes. Um, it has really good reviews. I was a little apprehensive to order the Amazon Basic one. But what I've seen so far, um, this is a really good option for me. So you'll see here basically what it is. Uh, there's a mount here with two arms that the bike just sits on. Um, there's basically these two mounts that the crossbar just sits in. Now, if you have a bike without a crossbar, uh, what you need to do is order you an adapter that would basically go on the bike that would serve as a crossbar just for holding. Uh, but these, the bike sits in here and then straps down. Um, now this is the hitch itself or the bike rack itself here on the rear. Um, you can see it's really sturdy. It's really solid. Like I said, I was a little bit worried about the Amazon uh, basic um, just because it is cheaper than some of the other options and not a name brand. But I've been pretty pleased with it in the past 48 hours that I've had this on here. But what it is, is this part with the bike arms basically goes right on here. Uh, there's a bolt that runs right here all the way through. And then a pin with a cotter pin on the other side here um, that holds it together. And what would happen is if I wanted to lower this for some reason, take the bikes off and just fold it down, I just pop this pin out and the whole thing will just fold down. Down here at the bottom... This is where it actually mounts onto the hitch. Now, this one is designed to be able to fold down completely so that even with the bikes on it, so that I could open up the rear hatch of the car. And this is where it does that. So you see basically, again, there's another pin and another bolt here that holds everything together. So I would just have to pull this pin, cotter pin over here, and loosen this piece here. Now you can see that, loosen this piece here, pull this pin out and the whole thing will just lay back even with the bikes on it so that I can gain access to my um, rear compartment area so that I can open up the um, rear door and get inside um, which is going to be great for us on vacation if I need to get something out or if we go just over the state park or something I want to get a cooler or something out. Uh, but you can see this is really sturdy. I don't know the exact dimensions of this, but this is all tubular. Um, it's really sturdy. It doesn't move. Nothing happens. And then basically what happens is it goes into your 2-inch trailer hitch there. Um, and there's a great big bolt that you can see right there that runs through there. And it's secured with this huge cotter pin. Now, to be honest, I really don't like that. There's two reasons I don't like that. Number one, I don't place a lot of faith in a cotter pin to hold that bolt on there. Now, I know that even before I put this on here, this was in here really tight. It actually does screw into there. Uh, but I still make me nervous and stuff with vibrations. Interstate, we're going to be traveling, traveling for several hours. It scares me a little bit. Um, the second part reason thing I don't like is actually this was a pain to get on here. Um, the bolt comes with two washers. Uh, they're supposed to go on here. Now, if you put both of those washers on this one, there's no way you can get this cotter pin on because this doesn't come all the way through. So I had to take it back off, put one washer on, drive it through again, and then get this very stiff cotter pin on there. Um, it took a hammer. It took vice grips. Um, God help me when I have to go take it off because uh, it's not going to be any fun. But 
what I've done because I don't like that I want to be able to take this off if I can uh, when I go somewhere and I want to be able to put it back on and stuff easy and I also want to secure this because I don't want anybody to just steal this whole thing when I park somewhere so I did order a hitch lock that will go right in there and will secure this uh, so nobody can just take this whole thing off bikes on it or not I also you can see have not yet done it uh, but I have a bike lock and I'm going to take the bike lock and secure the bike onto the hitch uh, the uh, rack so that it can't come off so somebody can't steal that uh, now my wife's bike is going to go here and what will happen is they'll basically just push up against each other now one problem that I ran into that has nothing to do with the rack itself is the fact that my bike the crossbars are wide and they're also not quite as long as I think this bike wants it to be so what happens is you can see here this doesn't necessarily fit in there exactly and also these are the straps that came on it um, they are not long enough to reach down here and secure that um, I tried it a bunch of ways I tried to put it over here I tried putting this one down here um, anything and none of that works so basically what I had to do was set it in these mounts and then I had ordered these velcro straps because I always I kind of felt that hey I'm probably going to need some extra velcro straps to hold this on here and what I was able to do is I took two of these on either side here you see there's one right here here and here and I basically secured the bike on here with these four velcro straps at four different places so like this one's holding this part this one's pulling down on it same thing over here uh, now this is not optimal but it did work I drove it on the interstate today on my way to work um, and didn't have any problems with it but what I did was I did buy some ratchet straps that I'm going to do use to replace this just because I don't like the idea of the bike being held on with velcro and what I'm going to do is take those and run them kind of around the same way I'll probably show that in a later video where we talk about how well this did on our trip. Um, you can also see this This is the strap that comes from Amazon to basically hold the bike on from moving this way. Um, it's just a strap with a little uh, catch there. Again, I'm not a huge fan of that because I've seen these. And this is actually looser than it was um, yesterday when I first put this on here so I'm also going to replace that with a ratchet strap or something else but I'm going to wait until I get a second bike on here because what happens is this will go all the way around both the bikes and this keeps your wheels from turning and it also keeps it up against the vehicle um, the only thing that I have noticed because this is mounted weird, weirdly uh, this does slide a little bit and the bike gets a little off center but I'm going to try to take some straps and fix that um, but yesterday it was really easy the only thing I actually needed um, to put this on was some sockets to be able to drive this bolt in that bolt down there uh, I needed a hammer I needed some vice grips um, it recommends wrenches and open-end wrenches definitely don't do that get get a socket um, or you'll be here forever because really putting this piece on and putting that piece on um, down at the bottom that piece right there uh, building this whole assembly took me maybe 15 minutes um, attaching this to the hitch uh, took a lot longer because I did not have a socket that was the right size um, and that whole cotter pin issue so uh, definitely recommend getting a socket um, and with this bolt here I had the same problem that I did down at the bottom it recommended two spacers go in there once I put them in it wasn't long enough so I had to take those out so I hope that does okay that makes me nervous when I have pieces left over that were supposed to be used but it appears to be okay for right now and maybe that's just with a slightly different design um, but like I said I really like this Amazon basic bike rack um, I would recommend getting it it's really good value for its money um, and I'm going to follow up with some other videos later once I get it used a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe to the whole channel as we release more videos about Life with Zach, all the random stuff going on. Hope you have a wonderful day.